Good morning. Um, Alright, so this video is just kind of a primer on how to create your body paragraphs for the Gipper essay. So, um, if you're watching this video, hopefully you have already finished the introductory paragraph. Um, the introductory paragraph includes the attention getter, necessary information, and your thesis statements. Now, one thing that I know I've said this a lot, but one thing that I really need you to remember is that you'll you are answering throughout the entire essay this question you see here in yellow and black. How do memories, pain, and choice help Jonas grow and give his life meaning in the giver? That's what you're answering throughout the essay. Now, you have already done your introductory paragraph. Your first body paragraph, which is your second paragraph of your essay, is going to be about memories and how the memories that Jonas has received have given him meaning in his life or have helped him grow. The second body paragraph is about pain. You will find two quotes, two pieces of evidence from the book where pain has given Jonas's life meaning and helped him grow. And then your final body paragraph is you'll find two instances in the novel The Giver, two pieces of evidence where choices that Jonas has made or that Jonas has been given helped him grow and given his life meaning. So um, attached to this assignment is this document, which is a <clears throat> um sorry let me just pull it up here this document which is the giver body paragraph example my example so um very important that you kind of pay attention here so the first body paragraph you're going to write is about memories and how memories have helped Jonas grow and given him given his life meaning the first thing you'll do is you'll create a topic sentence. Now, a topic sentence, read what it says in parentheses here. It tells what the paragraph is about and the focus of that topic in your paragraph. So, you will do that first. Um, Jonas is the receiver of memories, and his receiving of memories is one factor in how he grows as a person in the difficult environments of the community. So, um, the, remember the overall question is how memories have helped Jonas grow and given his life meaning. Well, his receiving of memories is how one factor in how he grew as a person in the difficult environments of the community. Okay, it's a very generic statement because what you're going to do later on is when you're really going to tell me, all right, how do you know that? So, um, very important that you read what it says in all caps red here. You will do your topic sentence first. And then you will find a quote second and then introduce the quote third. Now let me explain what you're doing here. So for the quote, as it says in parentheses, provide a quote from the text that supports the topic sentence. A quote can be actual words spoken by a character or it can be other non-spoken words that appear in the text. And then you will also, very importantly, cite the page number. So I went into the giver and I was like, all right, I remember there was a time when Jonas was shown a video of a newborn twin getting killed. Now, this is a memory that he receives. And so I want to, like, go find where that is. And I'm like, I know pride was mentioned on that page. So I go to the Giver ebook and I look for the word pride. And I find it um, right here at the end on page uh, 143. Jonas, the Giver said after one, it's true that it always has been this way for what seems forever. The memories tell us it has not always been. People felt things once. You and I have been a part of that, so we know. We know that they once felt things like pride and sorrow and... Okay, so I just kind of pause there. It says in love and pain. Okay, so I did not explain that quote, though. So if I just, like, threw that quote in there with no explanation, the reader might be lost. You have to assume that your reader does not know who Jonas is and is not familiar with the giver. So you need to do a little bit of explaining. So after you found your quote, you'll actually go back into this box, introduce quote, and it says, after finding your quote that provides evidence to support your topic sentence, you need to introduce it. You need to give some context or setting to the quote. If someone is speaking the quoted words, you should tell your reader who's talking. The quote can exist on its own. It must be attached to this introduction sentence. The purpose of this is just to tell the reader, hey, here's what's happening in this scene. Here's, here's what is happening and what you're about to read. And that's why it comes after, because you need to find the quote before you can tell me what happens in the quote. So you found your quote, and then you explain the quote. Soon after Jonas would see his father kill or release a newborn twin, the giver begins to explain that the people don't have feelings in the community. 
and the giver tells Jonas, and then you've got your quote. And now, the hard part is the analysis. So you've got your quote, you've explained your quote, now you're going to tell me, how does the quote support your topic? Or how does it prove your thesis to be true? And remember, your thesis is that Jonas was able to grow through using memories, pain, and choice. You will not just restate the quote in your own words, you analyze it, which means you have to explain how it proves the point you're trying to make. And the point you're trying to make is that this quote, this scene, shows growth for Jonas or gives his life meaning. And so I'll explain how I think this quote shows Jonas has grown or given his life meaning. This quote shows us that without the memories, people do not have feelings because they have no background knowledge to which they can connect meaning. Without feelings, there can be no personality. By his reaction to the quote above, Jonas shows us that he now possesses strong emotions and has gained his own personality, one with opinions and a sense of purpose. So this is my analysis of how that quote shows that Jonas has grown. Because now he's starting to realize, okay, I am a person. I am growing into my own. I have opinions. My purpose is now to stop the community from killing anyone else. And as that's evidenced by what happens later on when Jonas takes Gabriel and removes him from the community and they flee. Okay, so that is only half of your first body paragraph. The second half is find another quote related to memories. After you find another quote related to memories, you'll introduce it. What's happening in that scene? Don't forget to cite the page. And then you'll provide analysis. How does that quote that you found, how does that show us that Jonas has grown through memories? How does it show us that Jonas's life has meaning? And then finally, your concluding sentence, that's when you basically finish one or both of these sentences. Overall, Jonas learned the importance of memory because by blank or and or this helped him to grow as a person by and you'll kind of explain how Jonas has learned or grown from memory. You'll do the same exact thing, same scenario. Find quotes, introduce them, analyze them for your second and third body paragraphs, which are related to memories and choice. At the end of this essay, you will have found six pieces of evidence. Introduce those six pieces of evidence, those six quotes, and you will analyze all six of those, telling me how they show that Jonas has grown or his life has been given meaning. Um, when you are done with all of that, you will move on to your concluding paragraph, which I'll create a video for in the future. Okay, good luck, and Godspeed.